love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time popping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for, you know, taking that time out for you. Being able to know that even though trying times can bring off beautiful blessings, you have to just think positive and make sure you know you stay focused so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way y'all my bad about that light <laughs> uh and with that being said uh with that being said you know if you've been watching my video for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact again, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you um, feel like the video's giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one or family or friend. <laughs> Or even a fellow empath that truly needs uh, confirmation or validation towards their life path, their soul purpose, or just needing spiritual guidance, please share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my background music, I haven't listened to this type of uh, meditation in a while. It's called Reiki Music, Energy Healing, Chakra Balance, Zen Meditation. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't give up. You will be the one that ends the generational curse, uh, generational uh, cycle. And you will. Um, well, actually, it's generational curses. It's like you know i don't know what the heck we did you know they allowed me to see certain parts of my my um my past lives certain things you know that took effect you know they'll allow you i guess it's just like not everything that they want you to be able to see because it could be very traumatic it can mess you up for your your future endeavors but you know they allow you to see certain things in your past life and it just messes me up because i can be able to look at other people's past lives and stuff like that and i'm like oh this and this and this happened and you probably think about this this and this and that and it makes so much sense to them but when it come to me they're like mm -mm, there's just certain things you ain't supposed to know but there are certain things in my life that was very tragic to me like you know i remember how i died and you know one of my my my, my lives I think it's like one or two of them and I've seen things that popped off with my dad when he passed away a couple of times so it's just like really crazy but we're going through things and it's just like I noticed with this generation the people that I've connected with um you really went through some tremotious whatever you want to call that word tragic things I can't even say tremotious whatever that word is you know and you don't been through some stuff <laughs> you know, I've been through some stuff. My daughter's like, Mom, you always murdering in a word. You cannot say it right. They be making fun of me. I'm like, look, they ain't funny. But you know, sometimes I can't pronounce it, pronounce certain things. So it'd be I come out all messed up, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's just certain things that goes on in our life. Like I've told y'all before, you know, we have been like these renegade bad soldiers, whatever, you know, in our past lives. And we, they showed us like little snippets of the life path. You're like, oh, I picked this one. Why the hell did you pick the worst one to do? And it's just like, but <laughs> it's just the whole point. It had to do that major impact. So it's just like a lot of times we feel like we go left and right with things. Go left and right. Like, dag, am I ever going to get a break? You know, is things going to ever get better for me? Yes, they will. You know, it's just like there are certain things that will seem like it's deja vu. Like you already knew you had to go through certain things. And, you know, your intuition is like right there that lets you know, you know, hey, everything's going to be okay. You just got to believe in yourself. Keep working on you. Do things that make yourself happy. Not allowing people's negativity to influence your, your you know, your side of focus. You know, and that, sometimes it seems kind of hard, but then sometimes it seems like the most simplest thing that can really work our last nerve. And it's just like you're really trying to stay focused on certain things. And it'd be that little stuff that any other time it would have just, you know, you would have blew it off and just like, okay, whatever. It is really working your nerves. So 
it's like a lot of things we go through the most intense things and it's just like you have to understand you already knew you were stronger than what situation it was placed upon you so you know there is like trials and tribulations that you had to experience upon life you know getting the worst kind of abuse that you can possibly get through just to be able to know you're going to be that person that impacts your family bloodline you know a lot of things that, like this had to be really you know <laughs> really tremendous for you to have to be going through is like tremendous tragedy you know and I'm just like wow you know um just going through all these different things has really become it, it will like weigh down heavy on your heart you know there's a lot of times where I was gonna sat behind closed doors and just cry like I said I'm tired of this people that know they were close to me where you know I'm just trying to push out positivity for one per, one person you know just to be able to give them you know that positive vibe to let you know hey everything's gonna be okay where I pushed mine aside and just didn't want to deal with it so I went on like oh this makes me feel better to help somebody up with their situation but I was ignoring my own and that is just like me having to you know there's times I had to sit by myself and do that self-care to let you know hey you know you're gonna get through this you just have to be I said the advice that you give other people you need to be able to instill that into yourself and I'm just like well yeah duh. you know I just had to really go through it and at times, you know what, I'm even gonna lie, it doesn't, you know, it can be very heavy. You know, there's certain things that, you know, has been placed in my life that I wish I could unsee, but it's just stuff that I had to see to be able to test my strength. I'm willing to go through, and it's just like so many things that came to the forefront that I have suppressed for so many years as a child, and are all coming up at one time, and I'm just like, whoa, you, you must really think I'm bad as hell for me to sit up here and deal with all this at one time. God's like, yeah. I do, <laughs> but go ahead and keep on remembering that stuff so you can be able to take it away, you know, and it's just like, wow, really, you know, you have to go through all these different situations to be able to know your strength, you know, know the power that's instilled in you, you know, a lot of times we're trying to find that the way to Sesame Street, like I said a few weeks ago, we have to be able to do that, it's our place of happiness, that's our place of blessings, and knowing, you know, a lot of things had to be in our lives for us to be able to sever that, like, you know, whatever children will come off in the future, I don't want my, my grandchildren or my children suffering any more than they actually have to. And here goes those daggone lights again. I'm, my, my daggone energy must be crazy today because it's like certain videos that don't happen in with all that flashing light. And then there are certain other ones because it seemed like the ones I did the other day, it was flashing all through the videos. It was like twice today I had to start the video because it was flashing all up in my face. And it was just like, it felt like somebody put a camera in my face and just slashed. I was like, okay. <laughs> I got to start over because this going to be all this come out lady. So, it's all these different crazy energies that's coming on. And it just made, it, it, I guess it's just like me com, com, uh, having confirmation that I'm on the right path. You know, being able to tell y'all the things that you truly need to hear. You know, there's a lot of times where we get frustrated because we're like, we're tired of going through this, this stuff with our families. We're tired of going through all this crazy drama. Why can't I just get to my blessing? It's like for you to be able to have that blessing, you have to go through many, many tragedies for you to be actually saying, you know what, after all everything said and done, I'm glad I went through all this because it showed me so many things about myself I didn't even know I had in myself. You know, it's just like if I would have never went on to this situation, it's like I, I there's many days I don't kick myself in the butt. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Came from a pit, pit of happiness. I apologize. It's all that watermelon and stuff I was eating. But anyways, going through all these things, and you know, and I really wish it's like bad for you to reminisce about certain things you wish you would have did differently because everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. You know, there are certain things that'll come up to the forefront. It's like, dang, my angels was telling me to urge to do this, urge to do that. And it's just so many things. There's times where I had guilt heavy over my heart and then my dad would send like some kind of vibes and tell me, look, it's not your fault. There are certain things you weren't aware of, you know. There's things that, you know, people made me see a certain way, you know. So it's just like a lot of times I held, you know, held on to guilt when I shouldn't have, you know. But then I understand everything I went through had a, you know, a beautiful reason. You know, I had to go through a lot of tragic situations for me to be able to tell my story, to be able to allow people to look at their situation and make sense to why they had to go through the things they had to go through. You know, it's a blessing when 
you know, God allows me, they send me towards somebody or they send somebody towards me. And then I had that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them to allow them to understand. I'm like, you know, visions will come up to me when you're telling me you, your different experiences and what led you to me. And then God's blessing me with the visions to basically tell you these are the reason why you're going through these things. So it can be crazy and it's like right now i'm receiving so many different downloads that's the reason for me stuttering like that and then plus my daggone third eye is like really popped open so it's just like i got chills like crazy that keeps going up and down my head that's why i keep you see me keep scratching my head and stuff like that i feel like i'm about to bang the hell out of my head you know <laughs> i'm like i'm gonna really have a headache after i finish this and have a hot flashes at the same time see as soon as i did that it started flashing but going through all these different things we had to be able to experience in our life can really seem downright evil. Like, why are these, you know, why does it have to be like this? Why do people, you know, why do I end up having to be that one that's being picked on? I've been, I, I used to go to jobs and it would just seem like people would just come up to me. I'm like, look, if they only knew my elevator did not go all the way to the 13th floor, my radio ain't all the way tuned. Why are you pissing me off? You know, and I try to be that, you know, the you know the real precious person like girl don't 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 do this you ain't past your 90 days yet don't don't peel the scalps back it would be something like that where i had to walk off because i was so quick to pop back you know when somebody came at me crazy you know and i used to hate it when people would just put me in a corner and, you know a lot of people were like heck i didn't think you were like that and i'm like look trust and believe there are certain ones you, you certain personalities you do not want to come allow me to show face for you know sometimes i have to be able to do that <laughs> and i'm seeing <laughs> oh my goodness it, it's just crazy for certain things to be able to happen the way they happen and it, it's just like you know it allowed me to understand why i had to go through things you know and it's just like with us being hey oak is we pull out a lot of in we pull out a lot of insecurities on people to where they tend to want to show them, you know, towards us along our path. And you try to understand why are these people that way? Because it's like we mirror their insecurities out. There are certain things that we are prone to tell them. You're like, why did I have to tell them that? And then all of a sudden you start seeing their true face for what they really are things that's happened left and right you know it can be a sucky daggone job to have to do but at least you can see what you know what people's insecurities are when it comes towards you and you should never take it personal and it's kind of hard for us not to take it personal because in that uniform human form even though they're going out their way to try to make you mad you know it, it's just like they're just showing you you know obviously that you're that person that uh they really can make their blood boil and it's just like i had to be able to reflect on things like that anytime somebody is always trying to you know put dirt on your name or say something bad about you something in their inner life your your reflection on how you do things about your life is really messing with their inner peace and it's just like you don't even have to do nothing and it's just messing with them because they don't like the way you project yourself out towards towards other people and i see that i'm like oh i don't touch the nerve and i ain't even did anything to you okay <laughs> you know you got to do you have to be able to think in that like mind to know that you know you're going to be that one that's going to you know cut those cords so for the ones that's supposed to be cutting the cords you won't have the worst kind of daggone life going down this path because they already know you're going to be that one that's going to break that cycle so you have to go through almost the most worst situation that can possibly be, be able to put on because it's just like i don't understand why but it's just that person that had to go through some really hell a really bad hell to be able to experience that you are about to sever that cord of pain suffering and everything for this for this generation going down your family that you know when the next generation come they ain't gonna have to deal with all this heartache and pain trying to experience trying to grow all this they're gonna have their little mishaps but you're the one who's gonna have to go through the most intense situations for you to be able to break that so i hope you are able to you know um resonate with the content of this video and i would love to give a post notification shout out to uh let me see who else am i gonna miss uh sassy k miss keisha much love to you and mama shark so i will talk to y'all in my next video thank you stop it <laughs> stop don't mess with me i'm i'm stop Close with them. okay but anyways, y'all, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. 
you know, make sure you can be able to shoot out as much positivity, love, and light towards people. You never know your kind words can really, you know, do wonders on somebody. My bad for that because my ex done came in here and tried to sabotage me, but I, you know, I just didn't even play that. I just had to laugh it off. But anyways, you know, uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, and you know, let me know if you resonated so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. Hit that bell, share, thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next one. Much love. Peace.